Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel, Madison Intuitive Tarot. This is gonna be your January 2022 tarot reading. Happy New Year. Now today I'm gonna to be looking at your recent past energy, your present moments, and the energy of what's yet to come, and any potential challenges that you may experience throughout January. If you look at the book of private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website pinned at the top of the comments below this video and in the description box. Lastly, if you feel like you resonate with this reading and you want me to dive in deeper, the extended is also at the top of the comments. But I'm pretty thorough here as is, so no worries if you can't go to it. The extended is just for people like me that like extra details is all. And I also teach how I read tarot on my Patreon, which is linked below. So let's begin your reading. What do we have for Virgo, please? What's in their recent past, their present moments, and what's yet to come for Virgo? I keep on seeing the sun card. So you could be dealing with a Leo or there's just a new opportunity coming in, possibly after you know a completion. One more shuffle for Virgo. Let's rock this deck for my vivacious Virgos. Let's first begin looking at the potential challenges that you may face. We have the Fool. Okay, this is a new opportunity. But you see how Alice is just jumping all in into that hole, just not really caring what that hole will lead her to, just taking caution to the wind and just going for it. The fact that this is showing up in my challenge position for you tells me that there is an opportunity coming in for you, Virgo, and you might be a little bit apprehensive about leaping all in. Okay, so we'll see what's going on with that. What's in your recent past? We have the Magician. This is Mercury and Virgo, but also Mercury and Gemini energy. We have the Five of Wands, Leo energy. And we have the World, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius energy. Didn't I just say a moment ago when I said that I kept on seeing the Sun card that there may have been a completion that is taking place for a new opportunity? The World is a completion and it's showing up in the recent past and we have a new beginning. May not be the sun card that came out, but close enough. So let's look at your present energy, Virgo. We have the Eight of Swords, which explains why that's in your challenge position. Let's continue, present moment. Seven of Swords, you don't trust something. And the Nine of Cups, you're not trusting something that could be a wish fulfillment. Let's look at your near future, Virgo. We have the Four of Pentacles. This is you protecting your stability, protecting... Um, a relationship, protecting money, protecting a home situation, protecting your job, protecting something with that Four of Pentacles. More near future. The Wheel of Fortune, wow. That's fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. More future energy. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this is putting a lot of dedicated effort towards something that you believe in. All right. And the overall energy on the bottom of the deck. The Three of Pentacles. Virgo energy, but also Taurus and Capricorn. Seven of Cups right underneath that, Ten of Wands. Virgo, this is like clear as day to me right now. You've got an opportunity that's coming in and you put so much hard work towards it. I don't know if this is a relationship. I don't know if this is a career opportunity. I don't know if this is something you have been trying to build for yourself, but you've been putting a lot of energy and the universe is watching that and is getting ready to reward you for something getting ready to reward you. I mean, look at this card. This is someone that put in a lot of toil and labor because they knew that there was a kick-ass opportunity that is just waiting for them once they kept on putting in the effort because you gotta meet universe halfway, okay? And with the Seven of Cups showing up right underneath the Three of Pentacles, this is an opportunity that's coming in, okay? And someone wants to help you, Three of Pentacles, or someone's needing your help because they've seen how much hard work you put into something you dedicate your time and energy to. Someone may be looking at you and thinking, Virgo is not a waste of time, okay? Virgo, you know, when they commit to something, they give it their all and then some, all right? So you're being noticed. So I don't know if this is a, a, a future boss that's getting ready to wanna hire you, or this is someone that's wanting to promote you, or you're getting noticed for something. And for others, there could be a relationship that you're wanting to work on, but you may be scared. Okay, so this is where clarifying is going to really help me. So let me just start from the recent past and work my way up. Okay, so in the recent past, I see the magician. I see the five of wands and I see the world. So you were working on your manifestations, Virgo. You realized you had all the tools in your arsenal to really create your dreams into reality because the magician carries four aces. The ace of swords, the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups, and the ace of wands. All the tools you need to create what you really want. 
okay? Because the magician is creation. Thoughts create reality, words create reality, all right? And you may have felt like you had to compete for something, five of wands. The five of wands is competing for what everyone else wants, okay? Whether this is a business opportunity where you have a lot of comp competitors around you, or this is a relationship that you wanted to be in, but there was too many cooks in the kitchen, I don't know. But regardless, something completed for a new one to begin with the world card, a cycle closed. And all cycles closing lead to new beginnings with the fool being in your challenge position. And with the fool being in the challenge position and the fact that I'm seeing the seven of cups tells me that you may feel you know, apprehensive about making this decision right away. Especially with the eight of swords being right next to the fool. The eight of swords is the energy of overthinking a situation, being trapped in your head with limited beliefs, limited thoughts. Okay, uh, insecurities, the what ifs come in. And it's right next to the Seven of Swords, which is all about feeling like there's something deceptive around this. Okay, or not trusting the situation or feeling like um, the opportunity that you're getting or being offered has some fishiness tied to it. You're like, mm, this feels too good to be true type of deal. So for some of you, you may have been offered to work together with somebody and it feels like an opportunity of a lifetime, nine of cups, but you feel like the opportunity might stink a little, okay? Whether it's because the person offering it may have a reputation that is not admirable or there is just too many things that are just showing red flags to you, okay? Because the Seven of Swords is cunning behavior, it's deceptive behavior, it's sneaky behavior. But is this all your, your mental worries? Is it actually a reality though? Remember, thoughts create reality. Are you overthinking a situation and seeing something negative where there's no negative to be seen? That could be something, okay? And then we move into your near future. I see you protecting something. Now, the Four of Pentacles is all about protecting what you value. Oftentimes this could be protecting your heart from someone that maybe you don't trust and they're ready, they're, they're getting ready to offer you something, or this is protecting your money, okay? If you're being offered a financial opportunity but you have to like let go of one to go towards the other and you're like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna be a sound decision or um, there's something happening. But with that wheel of fortune being here, this is all about big changes that are for your highest good, Virgo. When you've got the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, this is Spirit saying, we got your back. Whatever is going on, it's supposed to happen for you. We're protecting you throughout the process. We're not gonna let you down. So even if it doesn't bring you a lot of happiness at the moment, maybe a few months from now, a few years from now, it's all going to make sense to you when you look back at your life and go, oh, I see why that had to happen. I see why I was put in that position. I'm glad I didn't fight it because when you fight it, you create more resistance and the universe always ends up winning at the end. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, which is the final card here, which tells me that whenever this opportunity is that you're being given, you are going to commit to it one way or the other and you're gonna put all your effort towards it. I'm strongly getting that this is a work matter because I don't have any cups here at all, so I'm just not feeling like it's a love situation, but clarifying is going to help me but it's something that's going to fulfill you, Virgo. Something you manifested. So if you can sit back and think to yourself, huh, what have I been trying to manifest for myself all this time? That might be, you know, that, that might be it. And there's a little trick to tell what you're manifesting by the, the, the number on the clock. For example, anytime you see 1111, stop yourself for a moment to think about what was on your mind at the time you noticed the clock that said 1111. A lot of people will be like, 11-11, make a wish. And I'm like, wait a minute. What were you just thinking about at that moment you saw the clock turn 11-11 or you saw that receipt show 11-11? Because 11-11 is attached to your manifestations. It lets you know that whatever you're thinking about at that given time when 11-11 was on the clock is what's heading your way. You're creating it with your thoughts. So I'm gonna start clarifying because I'm really curious about what this is. It looks good as the outcome. So I feel like that Seven of Swords with the Eight of Swords is all self-sabotage. It's all self-inflicted anxiety, okay? But let me see. Why is the Fool card in the challenge position for Virgo? 
Why is the Fool card in the challenge position for Virgo? The Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. In the Temperance card, the Empress coming through and Six of Wands. Um, there's something that's coming towards you and it's going to trigger some flashbacks to your past with the Six of Cups. Okay, there's something that this opportunity that's coming in reminds you of something from your past and this might bring the anxiety. Okay, you may not want to relive something from the past. Maybe you're being reminded that something that you did in the past didn't work out for you and since this is seeming familiar and you might be like, you know what, I'm just going to avoid that altogether. Okay, and with that Ten of Cups being there, there may have been something involving a family, whether your family friends that feel like family or someone else's family. Okay, so what is this magician all about? Why is the magician here in Virgo's recent past? The Five of Wands and the, ten, the Tower. Look at that, and the Five of Wands is right next to that magician. You were competing for something that other people were wanting at the same time. All right, you were manifesting something. 11-11, 11-11, just when I was talking about the magician. Synchrony synchronicities at its finest. And with that Knight of Pentacles being there, that's your energy, there is an offer that is heading towards you while you were going through this manifestation, something that you were really focusing on. But there was some shakeups with the Tower of Five of Wands. Virgo, I'm strongly feeling like there was some challenges in the recent past in regards to a work opportunity where there was a lot of competition around it. And it looks like you're the one winning if you accept this offer. Give me a card on that um, Five of Wands. Give me a card on that Five of Wands. Three of Wands, something you're waiting on or we're waiting on. Ten of Cups in reverse, okay? I feel like at the time that you were waiting on your ship to come in, something going on in your home life was not going well. There could have been a lot of fighting involved. There could have been a lot of arguments. There could have been a lot of people not supporting your goals, your dreams, your wishes. Maybe you would have, maybe you told some people, um, hey, look, I'm going off, off after this job opportunity or this business opportunity. Um, show me some support, that would be awesome. And they're like, uh, why would we show you support? You're not going to get that. You don't have what it takes. You don't have the tools. You don't have the business degree, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so there was some arguments based on what you were manifesting yourself. Someone, more, someone wasn't believing in you, Virgo. Why is that world in the recent past? Something closed up. Nine of Pentacles, you ended a cycle and regained your independence to move in a different direction. And the direction that you moved brought you some supportive people. All right, maybe even a love interest with the lover's card there. And there's the Queen of Pentacles, that's you. So I feel like in the recent past, you closed out a cycle that was detrimental to your stability. And now that you're in your present energy, being given an opportunity of a lifetime, you are scared that something from your past is gonna creep back up. Some sort of insecurity, something that someone else said to you um, stuck with you. Whether you're in your head going, I don't deserve this opportunity, my family was right, my friends were right. F that, those aren't friends. That is jealous family too. Anybody that doesn't support your, your ideas or your aspirations are not your people, okay? I don't care. I have a best friend that is always coming to me with so many different business opportunities and even though she's given up on a few of them, the fact that she's trying, I wanna support that. Even if in the back of my mind, I kind of know that it's not going to turn out well. I try not to think like that. I don't want to give off that negative energy and I just support her. I'm like, you got it, you, you got it, okay? That's how a friend should be. So if you had some people in the recent past that were poo-pooing on your freaking goals and dreams, they were just enemies, they were competitors, people that didn't want you to do better than them. So that's what the Eight of Swords and Seven of Swords is. The lies and deception that they've fed you is getting the best of you. Don't let it, don't give it power. Don't let those words from those people who aren't in your shoes take that power because what you're being given in January is going to be a wish, something you've manifested. So why turn away something that you manifested? It's like ordering a pizza and the pizza finally delivers and you stand at the door not opening it. What's the point? What's the point of manifesting what you want if you're not going to accept it when the universe brings it to you on a platter? 
Why is that nine of cups here? <laughs> oh my God, the freaking magician and the six of wands. Virgo and the world and the hermit and the two of wands, something you plan for. I can't make this shit up. I just said, you just manifested this. So what's the point of manifesting it and then it show up at your door and then you reject it. And then I clarified it and I got the magician. And with that six of wands being there, this is telling me that you're gonna overcome any challenges. The five of wands is what I was just talking about in regards to the people in your life. And the five of wands came out twice. The six of wands goes after that. It, it lets me know you're gonna overcome this. You're gonna rise to the top. You're gonna be getting a lot of positive attention due to what you've been manifesting. Guys, girls, I don't know what this is, but it's something big. And the world card and the hermit card came out with it. It's connecting to some sort of cycle you closed for a new life for yourself. It's like, um, even if that recent past was maybe a year and a half ago, whatever was going on in your recent past, um, you may have felt like your life was not stable, felt a little bit chaotic, and then moving into this present moment, you're seeing the rewards for everything that you went through. Okay, and now that this opportunity is coming in, you're gonna be like, am I ready for it? it it's kind of like someone that works on their acting skills, works on their acting skills, competing for roles in a movie, and then when a film director that is well known comes to you and says, hey, we need you for this part, something you've been working towards, and then you're like, ooh, crap, am I even ready for that? It's something like that. And the fact that the Six of Wands is here could tell me that I'm pulling out a Virgo that's in the public eye or is about to get recognized from a lot of people. Okay, so moving into your near future, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Pentacles. A lot of financial gain here. A lot of financial gain. And you might even be collaborating with other people, teaming up with other people, or networking. What is this Four of Pentacles? Four of Cups. Something that could have been a missed opportunity if it doesn't get accepted because the Four of Cups is a missed opportunity and the Knight of Pentacles is saying that there's an offer coming in but someone may not accept it, possibly due to narcissistic people that gave you very bad advice. Why is that Wheel of Fortune here? The Seven of Cups in reverse, no longer confused, taking on this new opportunity that feels destined and faded. Okay, that's going to bring you a lot of abundance and growth and expansion with the Empress. Okay, why is that Eight of Pentacles here? The Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. Okay, you're getting exciting news surrounding a commitment. I feel like this is all financial, you guys. Take it however it resonates. If it's love, you know your situation, but I feel like this is financial where you're gonna be taking the lead, you're stepping up, and you're gonna shine with that queen of wands, okay? But you're gonna have some friggin' deception around you that you, you, you need to not give power, okay? The five of swords is someone lying to get the upper hand, lying to win an argument, lying or trying to get the last word or, you know, I feel like it's someone from your past that did not want to see you succeed. And they may have fed you BS in, in hopes of getting in your head, which it kind of looks like it was starting to work. But the Virgos I'm pulling in are going to beat that and get out of the idea that you're not capable of something because you are. You're a friggin' Virgo, okay? Virgos are, you guys really know how to bring that stability to your life. You guys are meant to be surrounded in wealth. What is this Three of Pentacles as the overall? Look at that, secrets coming out about lies. Seven of Swords in the upright and the moon in reverse. Secrets coming out in regards to lies that almost kept you stuck in your head, Eight of Swords. Five of Cups, someone depressed and sad around you was trying to interfere with a new opportunity with a fool. Okay, Virgo, you got some jealous people around you but the situation will improve. But do be open to forgiveness because I feel like these were life lessons that Spirit was bringing to you to teach you about self-worth, self-value, self knowing when to defend yourself, your confidence, learning when to take action even in the, in, even when surrounded by um, people who weren't supporting you. I got a year from now. So whatever you're working on today, a year from now, you're gonna see the abundance. I got no. And I got wait. So some of you, you're gonna say no to this opportunity and just wait it out a little bit, maybe wait a year. But listen to your intuition. 
All right, so I hope this helps. Um, there was pretty much no love in this reading, but if you are looking for strictly love, I will um, do a how do they currently feel about you in the extended below. If you resonate with this reading, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. Till then, love you Virgo.